A very safe and good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 26th March, on the front page you have, aim is to win war against COVID-19 in 21 days, Modi. So PM has urged citizens to back healthcare professionals working through lockdown. And uh, here you can see migrant laborers wait in a queue to collect food packets being delivered by volunteers during the lockdown in Chennai. So when crowds are gathering even for food, it completely negates the idea of a lockdown. Because the idea of a lockdown is people should not come together in large numbers. And here you can see people have come together in large numbers. So at least essentials being delivered is a very important aspect during these times of lockdown. The people receive essential items, food items in their houses. And they don't gather and crowd the region. So here you can see even uh, delivery issues add to woes of homebound. Many e-commerce firms are forced to suspend deliveries to their customers in major cities across the country because local authorities are unable to ensure the safety of delivery persons. So this was the problem seen on the first day that even for delivery persons they are not allowed to reach out. So then it becomes very difficult to survive when essentials do not reach and going out for essentials is also a risk. Then here you can see census NPR exercise as expected has been put off because of coronavirus. So it has been postponed until further orders by Ministry of Home Affairs. Then this is terror attack in Afghanistan. So in Afghanistan, a lone Islamic State gunman killed at least 25 worshippers at a Gurudwara in Kabul in Afghanistan. Then this is undisturbed mass nesting of olive ridleys at Rishikulia. So turtles are safe as tourists and locals have stayed away from Russia coast due to coronavirus lockdown. So olive ridleys have become mass nesting. Then on page 7 you have why lockdown is for 21 days. So this article says that there is scientific data which led to the decision on the quarantine period. So 21 day like lockdown announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has scientific backing. It says 21 day quarantine has been discussed elaborately in context of Ebola and the calculations are based on estimated incubation period of virus in a human host. On the editorial page, there is one editorial on the 21 day lockdown which has been announced. So it talks about how this unprecedented lockdown is uh, to be effective what is required as we have seen that 21 days has been scientifically selected because uh, virus incubation period is 14 days and another week is given for even you know, clearly ensuring that the virus is not has not affected a person. So in these 21 days, people are locked down, people are not venturing out. But then what is also essential in this time frame is that people go for tests. If they have symptoms, then symptomatic cases should be tested. And that infrastructure should be in place is very, very essential to make this 21 day lockdown effective in its true sense. Also during this period, the problem which the people are facing like essentials, not reach, uh, not being able to reach out to essentials. The sudden decision resulted in panic buying too, and people are crowding places, which is actually defeating the entire purpose of a lockdown. So ensuring essential supplies and medicines reach out to the people. Home delivery is also been affected because uh, strict implementation by the police is also resulting in delivery personnel not being able to reach to. And uh, it is said state agencies are not following the order issued by Home Ministry under Disaster Management Act 2005, spelling out provisions on essential services. So, food, water, medicines, emergency assistance is essential and that should easily reach out to the people, otherwise people will clearly violate the lockdown and venture out. Then also this editorial talks about how the government needs to start more. It says the center must abandon its fiscal deficit goals at this moment when a worldwide healthcare and economic crisis is looming. The economy is going to suffer drastically, that has been pointed out, and government needs to spend 
you know, it says uh, du doubling the fiscal deficit target. You can see the budgeted fiscal deficit figure for 2020-21 should be doubled. Means 16 lakh crore would be freed up for the government to spend directly and provide capital support in form of grants and subsidies to state governments and also to banks. So use this crisis to ensure both economy and public well-being. Then the lead article is dressing a wounded economy. So this talks on the same lines. It says the major tools that the government has available before it are monetary policy and fiscal actions. So fiscal deficit we you know, been loosened or monetary policy which the RBI controls. So that brings in money in the hands of the people so that we can tackle this crisis and sustain the economy. And here you have beware of a lopsided lockdown. So here the article says that the poor seem to count for very little in the central government's curfew plan. That how the poor would sustain themselves in 21 days if you lock them down. Those who depend on daily wages. Where would they earn from? Where would they earn? where would they get essentials from if they don't have money to sustain themselves? So this is a major concern being raised here. Then on the opet page you have COVID-19 and the Great Chinese Puzzle. So this article says that China does not know or is not revealing the magnitude of infection in the country. So we don't know to what extent the infection has spread in China because China does not reveal accurate data. And this article is if COVID-19 affected a district. So, this article says that along with immediate response to the virus, there is a need to think about creating long-term capacity in state institutions. That how there is a need to tackle the virus for which there should be a long-term capacity, you know, hospitals, beds available to and you know, medications, treatment available to respond to the virus. How we are not prepared, how our health infrastructure is weak is highlighted here. And this is test, test, test for the virus. So, it says travel bans and quarantines are imperative, but testing alone can reveal the extent of the disease. So, that is highlighted here. Then, on page 11, you have Saudi King to chair G20 virtual summit. So, for Prime Minister Modi, this will be the second leadership summit after SARC, which will be through video conferencing. On international page, you have how the world is suffering from COVID-19 and how Spain overtook China's virus death toll. Prince Charles has also tested positive for COVID-19. And this is the front page news regarding how 25 worshippers have been killed in Islamic state, state attack on Kabul Gurudwara. So 80 have been rescued after gunmen laid siege on the worship house on the Gurudwara in Afghanistan, in Kabul. And this is White House, Congress agree on $2 trillion virus rescue bill. So the US President Trump's demand to have be given fund for tackling the virus has been approved. So measures which will be implemented include aid to businesses, workers and healthcare. On business page you have Finance Ministry rights to RBI for relaxing farm loan NPA norms, non-performing asset norms. So uh, Finance Ministry has cited stress in agriculture sector and it says relaxation is a prerequisite to interest subvention. So the farm loan relaxation has been proposed. And this is union cabinet approves recapitalization of regional rural banks. So center's share in this has been fixed at 70 crore rupees. So uh, this is a 1340 crore recapitalization plan to improve the capital to risk weighted asset ratio of regional rural banks. So these institutions will be strengthened, which are a critical source of credit in rural areas. And this is regarding the bank merger, which has already been announced. So this bank merger is taking place. That is the three banks which are being merged. Oriental Bank of India, United Bank of India will be merged with Punjab National Bank, Andhra Bank and Corporation Bank. So six banks are involved here. So this merger would take place means each bank would be merged with the other so there will be six banks would become three banks so this merger had already been announced but now uh, despite COVID-19 the merger process has been put into effect so that has been initiated so that is it
these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you